This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 647, Tuesdays. We've been celebrating professionalized wrestling. It's the last show of the year, and we're wearing funny hats. Well, we're wearing holiday hats. I have a holiday hat. Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie has a holiday hat. Oh, I mean... (laughs) There you go. How did I become your little helper here? What is... is, I got a dingly bell thing and, and... I don't know why is this hat, why does this hat smell like like leg oil and 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 fire? I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Larry Sorry. is wearing a chain because that is I don't know. I don't understand Hanukkah, so uh, he got a gold chain. Oh, Sork, just 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 let it go. Larry's here. Hi. 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 Welcome to our holiday special. Hi. It's more visually appealing than audibly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, but this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can find links and subscribe to us on podcast and video form. Or look us up on your favorite platform. You can email us at that address. Good, good times. Ho, 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 ho. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Actually, no. That is, that is good. That was good. That is good. Um, 412-206-WMS0 uh, tweet us at Mayhem Show and the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and group hit us up every Tuesday after the new year at least at 9pm Eastern Time on our Facebook Live or on other platforms on the Sorgatron Media social media but we are uh, checking out the the, uh, <laughs> the uh, chat room over here including Matt Carlin's Alex Cars and Tina Keys amongst others out there hanging out with us tonight also you can support us on the Patreon if uh, we haven't scared you away yet. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, including our friends at the Family Show, $1 level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and then Matthew, Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Our Pocky Club $5 level, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Christopher Bishop and Bradley Brothers, who I, somebody that resembled him. Uh, wore this hat last. Doc Remedy and uh, Dave Ponder of the Tiny Shutter Podcast at the Pizza Club $10 level, Willie F. And Johnson. And uh, you can also support the show and help us keep the lights on here in the studio at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. I don't know if this hat works with this. It's all like just bunched up and I don't know. Uh, well, it is the end of the year and uh, this is when we kind of dig through our predictions. And uh, we had a lot of people on the show last year, and we we're some of them are not going to be here to defend themselves uh, in their predictions for last year. So I figured we That's can because they're scared. They're scared. I also it's may scared, not scared. have asked anybody to be on the show because I forgot to book the show. Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> so Shh, you're not supposed to. Die. I will shame. It's okay, they forgot to book Raw last night too. Oh so <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! We didn't come up for anything for a third hour. Women, just go! Damn it! That explains that opening match. Mm-hmm. Oh, kept, oh, kept hold coming hold out, hold and guys, adding guys, stipulations. Christmas, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Christmas, are you ready? Yes. Okay. On Natty, on Sasha, on Bailey. <laughs> it's it's Vince, it's Vince throwing out the reindeer. <laughs> oh the wow! Hour. That's that's yeah. Uh, and it was so... even eight of them. <laughs> but do you recall? But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rousey of the Red Nosed Reindeer. Rousey the Red Belt Champion. Uh, <laughs> show title. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, had a very shiny nose because the makeup department sucks. <laughs> 
Okay, I guess those are what you missed on the Raw, raw, raw Wrap-Up last night uh, if we would have done that. On Natty, on Sasha, on Bailey and Riot. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> on Dana, Alicia. And I can't remember the other two. Mickey James. It didn't fucking matter. <laughs> Mickey James. Um, oh, what is the other one? Mickey James. Yeah, I know. Mickey and... <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Naya. It wasn't. Oh, we have Christmas trees. We were given Christmas trees. It was. Trees. Um, uh, oh. Uh, fuck. What was Who was name? the last one in that match? Natty, Sasha, Bailey, Ruby, Mickey, Mickey, Alicia, Dana, and. Was it Liv or Sarah? No. No. No, I didn't think so. Dana Brooke. Got that. Yes, yeah, Ember. Said Ember Moon. Moon. Ember Moon. Ember Moon. Ember Moon. All right. Moon. Hold on. Hold on. We'll, we'll it's not a good time. sign for Ember oh, Moon. Oh, no. <laughs> on Natty. On Bailey. On Sasha and Dana. On Riot. On. Ah, fuck. Fuck it. I don't remember them all. They don't <laughs> you got to write it either. down. You got to write it down. Sorry, Santa. They don't remember them all either. Sorry, let's, Santa Heyman. Let's just throw more people onto Raw that can't get booked properly. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, so what did we predict for 2018? I went through myself under the bus as uh, this time last year. I thought Enzo Amore would be the UK champion by now. <laughs> I was fucking trolling. It's good shit. It was, and we were <laughs> what, like two months out from him just falling off the wagon. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I get like negative points for that one. That Jeez. One. Billy Ruxman was here, or was he? Daniel Bryan will wrestle at WrestleMania. Uh, he was questioning oh, wait, against Kurt Angle. I, yeah. I, who's, who's are we on? My internet cut out. Oh, Billy Ruxman. Billy Ruxman. Oh, okay. Said that okay. Daniel Bryan would wrestle at WrestleMania, and he did. Yeah, he did. He, did. he definitely did. Billy was right. The prophet Billy Ruxman. Not, Good job. Not against Kurt Angle, but still. Uh, Lunchbox was here. He says something bad will happen with Kurt Angle, and he'll have to go away. Happened. Um, no. He was removed as GM. He went away. He was, I guess, storyline. Something line, bad but, happened. Yeah, but him. nothing bad happened to him. Not to him, no. I give him. Oh, he did find out he had a son. Yeah. Okay, something bad did happen then. And then his son went away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, good points for that. Yeah. He gets points. For he gets that. a half a point. Bobby okay. of G Town said Nakamura is gonna, going to win the Royal Rumble and challenge AJ, AJ Styles at WrestleMania. Wow. Okay. Wow, like that, was, that was a safe prediction. Though. I'm calling yeah. insider information. Kind of that was door, that was safe. Wheels. There are already rumors of that. <laughs> Wheels, man. What Enzo and Cass were something at the time, weren't they? Uh, Wheel says that Enzo and Cass reunite and become tag team champions. Well, hey, I mean, the year is young. That may happen on Impact. <laughs> I don't think uh, Cass is medically cleared with all the seizures. That is true. Wait, what? Cass, yeah. Cass had a seizure during uh, House of Hardcore. Oh, shit. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, oh, that's, that's for real. That's for yeah. reals. That's yeah. unfortunate. Karma. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Sorry. Yep. No, no you're saying Carmella. Car- no, Car- no, no, no. I'm saying karma. Poor Carmella. Jeez. Karma, Ooh. karma, karma, Carmella chameleon. <laughs> that was in my head. Um, Riz says yeah. that WWE will pick up Ethan Carter to the third. Well, good yep. on the Riz. Yep, and he's previewed for the main roster this week. So he did pretty good this year. Yeah, yeah, he did. Larry. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> this says uh, in 2018 uh, we'll have a women's tag team championship. That was close. No, no. that was close. I don't think any promotion inter- introduced it. Hmm. I mean, at least on a, that's yeah. on. TV. Well, I mean, none that didn't already have them. Yeah. Brian Savransky was here. He said Shane is going to take another stupid ass bump like Hell in a Cell. Did he do anything big this year? Yeah, he did Hell in a Cell. I don't think that was this year. That was at Hell in a Cell last year that Sammy turned. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think he took any crazy bumps. He didn't crash a helicopter this year. No, because he had the diverticulitis, remember? Ah, uh, that doesn't count. No. No, no, but that's why he didn't do any crazy bumps because he had diverticulitis. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, 
not not a bad prediction year for everybody last year. Wait, what, what was mine? What were my predictions? I forget. Why do you have, not have one in here? Mike wasn't here because he was uh, doing the toy thing. No, I probably emailed and. Oh, what did make it in? Because it was an email. Oh. Clerical errors. Well, we'll have to see if that's in the email from last year then. Let's yeah, because I know I just about positive I emailed. What do you think you might have done last year? God, I don't know, but I bet they're all. Gold. You bet they're all what? I bet they're all gold. Yeah. Uh, let me take a really quick peek because it's not going to be hard. Uh, predictions because I'm in retail hell. I do have your email ah, right is. here. I knew According it. to this last year, you predicted you you made several predictions. Oh, okay, okay. That sounds like me. The WWE prediction was somehow, some way, Matt Hardy will punch an owl on WWE television. I think I was it, really hoping for that in House Hardy Halloween. Yeah, no. yeah. There, it was a kangaroo instead, I believe. I thought there was an owl reference, though. There was early on. There might have been, but I don't think he punched any. No, no. TNA prediction. Yep. Sadly, something will draw me back to do a podcast on the current TNA programming. Hey, Mike. And and that happened. Hey, Mike. Hey, you know, it just takes one murdered journalist to get me to do something like that. What? That's what made me watch Impact that week. The Saudi thing. Oh. Because they were going to Saudi Arabia. Oh, wow. Sadly, something will draw me back. Yeah, yeah. That, that See? Is... See? Wow. Yeah. The WMS. And by the way, oh. not, not going to watch it next year. So this was your crazy prediction. Kenny Omega oh, yeah. will have a match at WrestleMania, but will not be signed by WWE. Yeah, I didn't. I, I had high hopes for that one. Because I I wanted like get him to fight Jericho, because Jericho was the IC champion. Yeah. That didn't happen. Oh, well. And you have one for the WMS prediction, but we will get that, to that here later in the show. <laughs> there's a wonderful picture of... Hold on. I'm sorry. I have to show this to you guys on video. Uh, there's a wonderful sh- picture of um, school school picture Kenny Omega that Bobby just dropped into. Uh, um, is, that really Ken- is that really Kenny Omega? I, I guess so. It's his, his yearbook Rolling Stone photo. That doesn't look anything like him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but he's got that backdrop. It's because he's combed his hair. No, it's, it's, the it's the eyebrows. It's the eyebrows. It's the eyebrows. It's them crazy eyebrows. Well, I don't think he has eyebrows anymore. Or they're blonde or something. <laughs> All right. So let me just double check real quick that I am on task with my stuff here in the dock. That is not, this is not the dock. This is an estimate for a client that I just clicked on. That is not going to help me during this show. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so what are your predictions for 2018, guys? What? What are your hmm? predictions for 2019? Oh. Oh, jeez. Um. We've had a lot of shakeup. We've had a lot of mm-hmm. ups and downs with WWE, at least um, in the news. We've had the comeback of XFL, which I feel like we predicted every year except for this past year. <laughs> so and it technically it technically still has not happened yet. No, 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 no. I mean, it's yeah, it, it, it was announced. It's not so. happening until twenty twenty. There's a Twitter account. It's not happening until twenty twenty. Right, right. Yeah. Uh so what do you what do you guys think for this year? Oh man. All right, I'm I'm giving. It this is for WWE to do. Do we? Do you want to split them up uh, like widely, or do we want to do a WWE prediction and then? Uh, Everything else prediction, maybe? Makes sense. Oh, Missy's saying no. Missy's saying no? Yeah. I heard, I heard it in the sigh. <laughs> it was in the sigh. Mike, what's your prediction? No. Oh, God. Um, I predict... Damn it, I don't want to be right about this. I don't want to be right about this. I predict that by the end of next year, Brock Lesnar will be UFC and WWE champion. Oof, that's rough, man. I don't want to be right. But I'm it, hoping I'm wrong. By mm. notice, I'm not saying Universal Champion. Just a WWE. I'm, say, champion. I'm saying WWE Champion mm-hmm. because they'll be on SmackDown at that point. What? They're not gonna put Lesnar I, I mean, on SmackDown. They'll be on. They'll be on. They'll be on Raw. Uh, Fox. Fox. I mean. Mm. Okay. So they, yeah. you're saying they might, might ship them over there since it's Fox. Yes. 
They'll actually treat it like an A show by that time. Yep. Um, also, um, another prediction. Pentagon will be NXT champion. Wow. Wow. That one I hope I'm right about. Wow. Yep. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, got a lot. Got a lot. A time in between. So I don't. I don't know if I wanted to go a safe one and say that WWE will not go back to uh, the Middle East. Uh, <laughs> also, like I, I also believe that they will do another, like another country for. Oh yeah. Oh, that's 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 kind of like you, you, you kind well, of. I mean, you kind of see that they're, coming. They're gonna they're gonna do Germany. Like that's Germany's on the books. Basically, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we've well, we've talked about them doing like an NXT Germany. Yeah. That no, that's what they're. But gonna you do. think that's gonna, gonna be part have, of they're it? They're gonna have. They're gonna have an NXT. You're gonna have an NXT Germany, and then sorry, we're gonna have some internet problems with with Mike for some reason. So I think it's his computer. To be honest, it's probably running a Join. Windows update in the background. Uh, so, so yeah, so there'll be an NXT one, but no, I'm thinking like the like like the super forty, sh- yeah, the super shows, the super forty thousand seat stadium thing, right? Because I I think yeah. those were uh, other than the other than the the mishap, um, the kind of uh, media mishap that happened with that's not even the right way to say that with the the you know the Middle East, um, that is that better? Yeah, yeah, we got you back. Okay. Oh, your lips are actually kind of matching you down. Yeah, no. I mean, but I there, mean, there's gonna be an NXT Germany. Yeah, there's gonna be NXT Germany. So, um, makes sense. <laughs> and I guess I dropped that as a general thing. Um, I am gonna predict. I am gonna predict. Um, that. I'm trying. Where do I want to go with the elite? Because the elite are obviously doing something. And maybe maybe this we'll find out sooner than later. Um, this new promotion, supposedly the, the the we'll just call it the elite promotion, the all in promotion for now until we know a name of it. Um, I believe it will not have television, but will still be a Ring of Honor or Impact Wrestling level competitor by the end of 2019. Okay. I'm going to say that Ronda Rousey will not be with WWE through the entire 2019 year. I think she's going to quit by before the end of 2019. You think she's going to be gone? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. And then I think so, too. And then my wild, not WWE, not totally WWE prediction is that the whole elite promotion thing is bullshit, and they're going to be with WWE before the end of 2019. Really? Yep. Hmm. Smoke and mirrors. Yep. Or, or, <laughs> side prediction. <laughs> no. I'm just pontificating at this point. Or it turns out this promotion they do is actually going to be on the WWE Network. No. Which actually would go with my no. my thing. So I didn't hear a single thing Larry said. Uh, th- th- you th- didn't hear any, what, of uh, my other prediction? Uh, he's Your saying that prediction. he's saying that the Elite uh, promotion is BS and they will be part of the WWE. Yep, I can see that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a swerve. Although, I, yeah. I will pre- I, one my crazy prediction. My crazy prediction, are you ready for this? Sometime during 2019, we will see the match between David Arquette and Stephen Amell. Ooh. Ooh, please. David Arquette and Stephen Amell. I'd see it in a light bulb match. <laughs> Stephen Amell avenges <laughs> David Arquette against Nick Gage. This is not a prediction. Don't write this down, please. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. Uh, from the chat room, uh, British Bulldog will be inducted in the Hall of Fame from Alex Cars. No, that's not <laughs> happening. Yeah, it might. You never know. You never know. Um, let's see. Fox doesn't have a deal with UFC. Maybe the British Bulldogs since Dynamite's dead now, too. That's true. Yeah, it'd be the time to do it. That's so sad to say like that. Um, I could see the I could see them getting in before China. Um, yeah, probably. Probably. 
I mean, maybe it'll just be a year. We'll drop in all those people that people like. Like, we'll get the British Bulldogs, Owen Hart, and China, and that'll be your class of 2019. Uh, but all right. Well, in the meantime, as we uh, let me, I'll take a poke at some things and see what's going on with the internet with um, Mike over here. Like I said, Mike, it's, it's not you. It's me. It's <laughs> this was happening earlier in the show, unfortunately, too, or, or on the other show too. So I'll double check if nothing's running in the background. Um, sorry, sorry, the internet's cutting out real bad. I know, I know, I know. We're working on it. No, I, I can't even hear you guys. That might not be the internet, actually. That actually might not be the internet. You can't hear us at all. You were, you were cutting out like, I caught like maybe half of half of what you guys said. All right, let, let, let's recall you while we're doing the break here. Okay, that's. Oh, sorry. Uh, but anyways, uh, in the meantime, uh, you know, over at Indie Wrestling dot us we got the indie wrestling network www.indywrestling.network we got a lot of stuff coming in like the uh newest international wrestling cartel the pro wrestling classic is a part of that right now and uh new release coming soon from renegade wrestling alliance prospect pro wrestling they just had this first show this past weekend that's uh we're waiting for commentary to come back and we're going to get an edit and get that up as soon as possible plus our friends at black diamond wrestling uh, their shows from the Diamond Plex are a part of that. You can go check it out. And, of course, uh, our friends, uh, the Duke and, Do- Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memory, Shirley Doe and Duke Davis, did issue a challenge that when we get 200 network subscribers, we'll, uh, I'm going to say, attempt the book Kimona Wanalea uh, as a part of the show, as part of it. So um, get, get your subscriptions in there. There's a lot of content for you to check out. And I know some people have been, uh, we've been communicating with some of the uh, people that have been subscribing about uh, stuff we've been putting on there in the past few weeks as well. A lot of stuff. Rise Wrestling, Rise with a Y. All shows since February that uh, we've been producing here at, for IndieWrestling.us are a part of that. As well as the new Uprise show is exclusive to that. Prospect Pro Wrestling will be exclusive to that. Four episodes of the uh, Black Diamond Wrestling will be exclusive to that as well. Go check it out. www.indywrestling.network for your uh, start your free seven-day trial now. So, Matt, Matt, Mike, are you with us? I am with us. Sorry, I do have a question. Okay. Who the fuck is the Cross character in the chat room? Ty Cross? I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who his Ty Cross is. I don't know. 2019, okay. we will remember Ty Cross. Nope. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to happen. So, in 2018, we had, oh, for 2018 predictions, we had Wrestling Mayhem Show predictions. Um, I can't remember if we started this last year or the year before. Oh, we've been doing these for years. We have been doing them. Okay. Uh, so I apparently, apparently predicted that Bobby F. J-Town will start his own independent show outside of Wrestling Mayhem Show. Man, I was really uh, betting on this one. Wasn't he going to do the Golden Girls thing? Or yeah. The, uh, no, the Big Brother. It was gonna, well, the Big Brother has been a thing. Uh, <laughs> I have not known Ty Cross for 22 years. Chat room. No one has known Ty Cross for 22 years. Because he is, in fact, 18 years old. Exactly. Exactly. He's a baby. Uh, Bull- Billy Ruxman said he'll be back for a show in 2018. He was on a show, several episodes, actually. He was. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he predicted something he could entirely control. Not entirely. Not entirely. Although he did move to the neighborhood, so uh, <laughs> that helped. I have well, seen him at the Taco Boys so. across the street. Yes, you have. <laughs> Uh, Lunchbox said former WWE F wrestler will be in studio. I can't remember if we did that. We had the closest. We had Michael Gary Capetta in the studio. We had Shane Taylor in the studio, but I don't think we. Do they have to be like roster members, or they like were roster members? I think because you've had a lot of people like do spots on. Yeah, well, a lot of people. We had Dylan Bostic, and he. Well, that was last year, actually. We had Dylan Bostic. You had um, Lady Frost. <gasps> that counts. That counts. That counts. She that wrestled counts. on Raw, and then she, she was here in the studio. And she's uh, doing the NXT thing. She's doing an NXT thing now. She or, was a uh, she was a uh, former a and future WWE wrestler. Sam Adonis. Yeah, he was in developmental. Yeah, he was in developmental. He was a signed WWE wrestler. So, actually, that does count. 
we 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 stretched a little bit, but yeah, I think that counts. Ma- Mike, what's your what's your ruling on this? It wasn't for Mayhem show, um, but it was for yeah. Andy Mayhem. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it counts. Okay. LB got a good one there. Uh, points for LB. Bobby of J-Town. We will overdub a movie and Sorg will actually release it this time. We did not do any of that stuff. Oh. <laughs> Wheels will make his in-studio debut for Awesome Cast and Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh, <laughs> that didn't happen To either. be fair, to be fair, is the studio wheelchair accessible? Yeah. Yeah, it is now. Oh, okay. Well, Wheels, get the fuck down there. It's at the end of a hill. Just, like, don't hit your brakes. Yeah, it's no, not at no, the end of a hill. We got a ramp. No, we're on top of a hill. Yeah, we're at the top. Oh, okay. So build up the upper body strength. That's yes. right. Mike hasn't been to the new studio yet. I have not. That needs to happen. We're going to get a mega bus for Mike. Um, Riz says that we will have a live Wrestling Mayhem show at either RWA or IWC. We did neither of those things, but Michael Gary P- Capetta did. <laughs> so, yeah, he did his one-man show at IWC. So, um, Larry. Yeah, what did I predict? Sorg will not remember STD Christmas special and will not watch it afterwards. That happened. That was dead that on. <laughs> that happened. Well, I don't know. You kind of watched it, but not willingly. No, no, not a lot. Just not, because not we posted it. it online. Not a lot of it. Yeah, <laughs> for several days. You just remember booping the internet. He doesn't remember Brian that. Brian Savransky will uh, will be a semi regular audience member, show member. Uh, he's he's all over our group. Everywhere. Everywhere. And he's at every uh, pay-per-view that we watch here. So, Mad Mike, let me pop over to your email again. Double check what that yes. was. Your MAM show prediction was a, a, a WMS t-shirt will be featured prominently in the temple at Lucha Underground. Uh, that did not happen, but you but but you were prominently mentioned yeah, I'll on take that. Lucha Underground. I'll take that. I'll take that as a full point. As a full point? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess so. Me and Mainstream Matt were mentioned by name mm-hmm. in the season finale. I think that's two points. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I'll get it. I'll I get think it. that's two points. I'll give it, I'll give it. All right, and I want to open this up to the chat room here because I feel weird like giving predictions for my own show because I kind of have control over a lot of that stuff. Um, <laughs> so weird. half the people predicted something they could control. That is true. It's, a lot of them did not I, do the I, thing. I, I did not. You did not. Do you have a prediction for 2019 for a Wrestling Mayhem show? Oh, are you asking me what my is for this year? Yes. Coming up. What? I'm going to. I'm, I, I need to think on this. We did do uh, we did do a midweek war special from a SoCal hotel room one time. That was that was like last <laughs> year. Though. That sounds dirty. <laughs> Those are words that sound weird together. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I remember when we did that midweek war special in the SoCal hotel room. Wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. All right. <laughs> it says nothing to do with predictions. I pre- I predict Mad Mike will visit the studio Ooh. in 2019. Ooh, Tina's got go. a good prediction. Oh, Tina's write this one down, producer Missy. That uh, Mad Mike will visit the studio in 2019. Let's do it. I'll get you a mega bus ticket now. Okay. Don't get wanna... him now. If he does it in 2018, it doesn't count. Well, I get it now for next month. Also, what did you do to throw your camera out of focus for a minute? There? Me? Wow, what is happening? Me? It's that gold chain, it's isn't it? Chain. It's going crazy. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. Wow. <laughs> Matt, Matt is predicting something he can potentially control. Larry will earn himself a lifetime ban from Mayhem Mania. That's entirely possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what? Larry, Larry, what early 90s WWF have you been watching to prepare for Mayhem Mania? Uh, none. I should okay. start. I, I should just start. You start putting Mantar sure. in the in the in the thing. No, I, I I've already got my predictions, uh, or my uh, picks. You already oh. got. I'm getting I'm getting them lined up <laughs> that's, now. That's three people who already have their first Mayhem Mania match picked. Man, I don't even know. Um, I, I'm I'm liking I'm liking that. Uh, I'm liking that there will be a there. Well, the tie cross says he will be in the studio in 2019. Uh, Who the fuck is that? Sword, says, don't let in strangers. So I know, right? Who is this Ty Cross? I don't know. 
Uh, Tina says there will be a WMS live from the West Coast. I will tell you, I am already booked to come to the West Coast, to LA specifically, twice this year. Um, and probably within like three weeks of each other now I think about it. Unfortunately, the one of them will be on WrestleMania weekend. So that sucks. So maybe just, you know, Alex and I and whoever else happens to be in LA at the time. Uh, we'll do something there. Actually, we should do something there. Now I know like what it's like to do the job that I do out there. So um, I can FaceTime with you. You could FaceTime be, with me. Because I'll be at, at WrestleMania. WrestleMania. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's going to be the not at WrestleMania show. Um, <laughs> this is... this is. Oh, um, fuck. What was the name of Joey Janela's show? Spring Break? Yeah. Wrestling Mayhem Show Spring Break. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's good. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We got at least two Alexes in California, and um, and I don't know how accessible everybody else is out there. So maybe we can get Veronica to to come up to California. Oh yeah. Or, or maybe, I'm sorry. Come up to LA. <laughs> She's in California already. So we could we could plan something. Okay. All right. Let, we'll work on this. Let's uh let's uh start something on the on the Facebook. See text. if uh, Krista Joseph wants to watch with you. Up there. Well, he will probably be going to WrestleMania weekend doing something. So. Uh, you, know. you never know. He might not be. Maybe he's not this year. I don't know. I don't know. He we, he went and you got to see him down at doing Impact in um, Lucha Underground. Alex Cars. No, he wasn't there. Alex hmm. Cars is predicting Slice on Broadway will expand to the West Coast. There you go. And will sponsor that corresponding Mayhem show. There you go. There you go. Make it happen. Yes. My prediction. I, I still feel weird doing a prediction for myself, but. Um, I predict we may be talking about more Impact Wrestling in 2019. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> they, I feel like there'll be good reasons to talk about Impact Wrestling in 2019. Sorry, um, they need to unblock me from Twitter. Well, I also predict. I predict. That's something you can't control. So yeah, let's uh, but Sorg close. might be able to. Uh, I predict that Mad Mike will be unblocked by Impact Wrestling's main account in 2019. Okay, and my other prediction, I will do something to get myself re-blocked <laughs> by Impact Wrestling in 2019. Within the first 24 hours of being on Fox. <laughs> I predict, side prediction from that, Mad Mike will make one of my business, business relationships very awkward in 2019. <laughs> Tina said she'll see you at sorry, WrestleMania. Sorry. I make my business relationship awkward every single day. That is week. true. That is true. A daily basis, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, We're rivals, brother. Jeez. <laughs> uh, no, my, my WMS prediction oh. is that Sorg will have to ask a luchador a question in Spanish. Oh, boy. I oh, hope for boy. this every year. Really? I hope for this every year. Yes, I do hope for it. I think it was officially my prediction two years ago. You know, we could have done I, this. I skipped. We could have done this. You could have reminded me when they had a lucha show across the street. Sorg, I can't remind you. It needs to happen naturally. Like I, I mean, I could just ask Sam Adonis a question. You could have Spanish. asked Drago a question when he was on. Drago? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, he was in the background. That's right. Sorg, it he needs to happen organically. I can't remind you of this. Hey, it needs to happen hey Siri, remind me to book a luchador and ask a question in Spanish uh, in 2019. Book a luchador and ask a question in Spanish. Thank you, Siri. All right. That is registered. <laughs> Alex says, Google Translate, what kind of vegetable would you be and why in Spanish? A squash, duh. Oh wait, I, I kind of want—I want, kind of want to know uh, what that is now. Hold on, do I have translate on here? Missy, what are your predictions for next year? <laughs> she will be bludgeoning me with a kendo stick over here in 2019. How did you do that? Were you a ventriloquist? Did she, is she not? Yeah, I don't pointing. think you know what a ventriloquist is. I predict her mouth was not moving and her words were coming out of Sorg. So that's pretty accurate for ventral ventral. I also okay. predict that mainstream Matt may have to return to the helm of mayhem studio 
to run a show while I'm out of town again. Surprise, Matt. Hey, Matt, I'm going to be out of town a little bit in 2019. <laughs> Here's, I'm letting you know now. Um, how's your How's your April and May? Um, <clears throat> uh, but anyways, yes. So uh, it is a little fun. I know it's kind of like a fun uh, self-poke at ourselves here uh, for the end of the year. But let us know if you're on the Twitters or anything afterwards. What is your... <laughs> Fue tipo de verdura serious y porque. Okay. And of course, uh, what Christmas would be complete without a stack of pizza boxes under your tree? Our good friends at Slice on Broadway supported Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni, pepperoni pizza for several years. I predict they will continue into 2019. That I put that into the world. Um, but no, they've been supporting us and feeding our people that come into the studio here and have for a while right here in, on Broadway in Beachview and three other locations in the greater Pittsburgh area, including PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And help, help, I believe it was uh, Alex Cars' prediction, uh, help Slice on Broadway's Westford expansion so they can sponsor a Wrestling Mayhem show on the West Coast. If you have a Broadway in your town, I just imagine like an Oregon Trail with pizzas on the train. For some uh-huh. reason, okay. Is that where you were at too? Because I saw you. Yeah, I, I saw you over there. Uh, mm-hmm. But anyways, <laughs> um, if you have a Broadway in your town, take a picture of it, send it to pgh underscore slice on the Twitter, and let them know we would like your slice on our Broadway wherever you might be. Let them know they're gonna, they're adding locations all the time. Why can't it be in your town? Uh, let's let them know that you guys are listening out there. So. And we'll be right back after this message. And then the big question. Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I am... No, this is the beginning. This is the mid-show. I don't reintroduce myself, do I? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho, Ho, Ho. And there you back. go. There you go. That seems right. We had some internet difficulties. We just dropped. We got booted right off the internet because this we mentioned we get for talking about impact because we mentioned the I word, which is really funny because the internet worked really well for us on Friday when we were doing an yeah. impact show. You sucked up all the internet for the week. I used we all my use I used internet. all my internet karma for Friday night in Dayton. Yep. Uh, on Twitch with Impact Wrestling. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's good. Anyways. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but in the meantime, it is time for the big question. And Mike reminds me because I always forget what we do at the end of the year. And uh, Mike, what do we do at the end of the year for the big question? Well, Sorg, for those who have been good wrestling fans, what big question is: What would you like Wrestling Santa to bring you? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> wow. Uh, I haven't worked in a toy store since April. This is the most interaction I get like this. Do you, do you say that at work? Yeah. When I worked at a toy store, sure. No, I mean now. No. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> no that just, gets awkward. I'm just curious. Yeah, just, just curious. Just, no, you never know who's listening, but clearly they're not listening because they have <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We'll, all right. We'll do it after a big question. I had an idea that I need to share with you guys because it's kind of fucked up if it's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> we can do that after the next uh, break here. Yeah. All right. So the big question, what do you want uh, uh, Wrestling Santa to bring you? What do you want, Mad Mike? Oh, uh, well, I ask, for, I ask for the same thing every year. Another season of Lucha Underground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's the main thing I want. Um, if I could pick one other thing I want, um, I want no more authority figures on WWE TV. Just in general. In general. So, yeah. so you're not happy that McMahon's coming back. Well, I, I, I do have a long, st- hmm? with very few exceptions, should not be on camera on a wrestling program. I think we missed a, a middle you, part. We missed there. the middle part. You had uh, a long. Oh, what? and anyone, anyone over forty, with very few exceptions. Should not be on camera on a wrestling program. Hmm. On camera. On camera. On camera. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. 
very few exceptions, but okay. All right, all right. Um, Rick AJ Styles uh, exception from the chat room. Yes, uh, from the chat room. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dave would like uh, for Vince to retire. <laughs> you have to which Vince. You have to specify because if Russo retires, technically you get your wish. I think we're talking. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go uh, uh, McMahon presumably on that one. Uh, Tina asks, "Can Wrestling Santa bring a touring spree of New Japan across the U.S.? Seattle date uh, included." Wishful thinking. That's a good one. I, I mean, like that. Seattle doesn't get they don't get treated to a lot in a lot of those. Do they? It's too rainy up there, man. It's too, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's the distance. <laughs> I think it's the distance from everything else, basically, if I have my geography right, except Portland. Um, that's, that's, that's Tina, fine. just move your state closer. Yes, just nudge it closer to everybody else. We'll be fine. We don't need... Who's in there? Idaho or something? Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. Yeah, we don't need those. We All don't those other states. Those that right Utah. Over. I don't think they go to Utah. Well, I they don't. might go to Utah. This is not the geography show, so if you're questioning that, we're you know, mushy center. Um, Dear Wrestling Santa from Alex Cars, please bring me a way to, to go to more wrestling shows in the coming year. It ain't easy going out. Maybe a car or something. Thanks, signed Alex Cars. Ho, ho, Alex, have you ordered Uber? Ho, 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 ho. That gets expensive around LA, I bet. That's fair. Yeah, that's that's gonna be like, like, do you that have? You a- could run the bank, Alex. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. They do get progress <laughs> this year, as she says. It's booming again out there. That's good. Um, that's good. You might get a lot more progress this year. Oh, I'm just saying. Could be, could be. I'm just saying, it, it's 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 a potential. I love this. I love that everybody's writing this in form letter. Uh, Bradley asks, uh, 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 writes, "Dear Wrestling Santa, I thought you were going to respond. Uh, please don't let Chris Larusso win the IWC title. Love, Bradley. Ho ho ho! Chris Larusso is a very naughty boy. Ho ho ho! That said, if he cheats, I have no control over it." <laughs> Wrestling Santa, I want I want a day of wrestling training from Chris Larusso. Says Justin, okay. Um, let's see, two hours away from the border. Really? I thought they were Ooh. closer. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Larry. What do you want from uh, Wrestling Santa this year? Oh, jeez. Dear Wrestling Santa, I would like. I would like a free year subscription of New Japan World. No. Please. No, oh. thank you. Yeah, we're going with that. I have determined, I, and we were talking about this last night a little bit, I think, Larry. What's up? Um, my new method for trying to watch all the wrestling that I need to watch for the week. Oh, uh, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. The Ozymandias screen? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to get I'm going to get a stack of TVs. Yep. And instead of watching like 10 hours of wrestling a week, actually there's more of 10, 10 hours of wrestling a week, I'm going to watch Impact and Ring of Honor and maybe some NXT and UK NXT and then 205 each, like all at the same time. And we're going to stream it live so the internet can watch your head explode. That's right. That's right. So, um, because I mean, I don't need the commentary for everything. I just want to know what's going yeah. on and, you know, the, 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 the cream will rise to, to my attention, right? Yep. Mute sure. the, mute the Most of those will have subtitles, too. So you can have subtitles, yeah. sure. Yep. Sure. I, I, I put audio on on one at a time, right? And that's, you know. You might have a seizure from that. I might have so a seizure. On, yeah. So, what you're, what you're saying is you want, like, a wrestling Red Zone channel. <gasps> yes. Yes. Like the like the audio kicks in during a high spot or during a title match. You know what'd be cool, and it cuts out during rest holds. Yeah, this is oh, great. Oh, yeah, you like know, a super. You know what cut. we can call this Sorg? What we can call it? Total nonstop action. Is anyone using that? I don't think they are. I don't anymore. think. I think. I think it's open, man. I think it's it's good to that go. What, there might be a website <laughs> open for that. I'm gonna check. Hmm. Uh, I might ask. Fun. I might ask around for that. 
I might ask around I'm a for pretty, that. I'm a pretty funny guy. Man, this sometimes. is a that is a, actually is there is there a site or service or podcast that literally tells you this is the stuff you should watch from all that program this week? Oh, like other than the reviews and tweets and everything like that, is there an actually like listen if you want like the wrestling from this week here it is, you know hit like 33 minutes on Raw and watch this match this segment. <laughs> Go to, it's never going to be that long on Raw. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm never. saying that time code wise. Time code wise. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, oh, say, I'm saying Q to 33, 33 minutes, minutes on the Hulu got, cut of gotcha. Raw. Watch the Elias segment. Uh, so it only, uh, go, it, it only turns on Raw at the first 15 minutes of every no, hour. No, no, because you can't do that because everybody everything's across different things unless you were to, like, I don't know, do some kind of embed code that drops into a service or something. But it was like, let's say you got everything on your DVR. Say, hey, at you know, um, uh, you know, forty-five minutes on Impact Wrestling. Here's a Sue Young segment, you know, or, or something like that, or or even like a plug in all your like. Remember an old ESPN app for the Xbox where you plugged in all the teams that you followed and it would just let you know when they were on, or there's a, a story about and them. You can, and when you do that, you're just gonna start to get really confused when like Demon Alley and Demon Balor show up at the same time, and it's gonna like merge into a weird hybrid. By the way, first time seeing Demon Alley was kind of cool. Yeah, sure. I haven't seen it yet, but it's pretty interesting. It's actually kind of. I like Alley, so I'm 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 excited for Alley. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's, it's a different side I, I haven't seen from her, and I really enjoy it. But we'll get to that. We'll get to it. All right. Anything else? Um, I think we all hit the Santa. <laughs> Alex says that he's it's a good idea for Occupy Pro Wrestling. Actually, it is. If somebody could do that, um, but then that then I'm charging somebody else with watching all the wrestling. So, Sorg, what's watching all the wrestling like? I don't know, Mike. How is that? Uh, it's, it's it's troubling. Yes. Does anybody ask Santa what he wants for wrestling Christmas? What would oh, Santa you mean? Me? I I want her season of Lucha. Yeah, yeah. No, we already got him. No. Oh, okay. oh you're talking about Santa, Santa. Oh, oh, you're talking about. Well, I mean, wrestling Santa and Santa Santa are very different people. Yes. I, yes. I'm. I, I, no, I don't speak for Santa, per se. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say he would want all the naughty little heels to get coals in their stocking. Oh, yeah. Michael Coles Michael in their Coles, stocking? Adam Coles, Ian Coles. Ian. He was a hockey player. Oh, well, okay. don't, yeah. don't get your you're, hey! You're don't crossing, get your sports puck in my wrestling podcast. You're streams, Damn it! Mike. I was gonna keep saying Coles. I was gonna say Coles Department Store. Cole Cabana. Coles from Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I was gonna keep going. Well, but, anyways, uh, you know, what, actually, you know what Santa wants for Christmas? He wants whenever someone says Michael Cole. Let's try that again. Take two. He said, "All he said was Michael Cole." Take Whenever two. someone ch- screams Michael Cole at a wrestling show, someone has to say "Bebe" after it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay. no, no. Matt and I tried to do that many times in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Did it catch on at all? It did a little bit. Okay. All right. You have to be Not in the right so section. Not so much in Brooklyn at Takeover. No. Not so much. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I actually got cursed at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you were also in Brooklyn. Yeah, but it's Brooklyn. Yeah, it's Brooklyn. It's not like it's not like Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. <laughs> wait, wait. Does the shrug go with that? The hipsters have taken over Brooklyn. Okay, all right. There, there's a there's an axe throwing bar like three blocks from Barclays. Like, it's it's not. Oh no. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know about the axe for throwing bars here in Pittsburgh, don't we? Don't we, Larry? Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. I love that we've all talked about things that we've all been um, <laughs> done projects for recently. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Coleslaw, no coleslaw. Hey guys, speaking of somebody that may be doing something that we just mentioned, uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling are trying to help some people out. Joey Janela's LA Confidential uh, a little bit ago saw some insane wrestling action, but not without some casualties. I think it's a little strong word with casualties. 
Uh, their Wham Fam brother Marco Stunt was injured in a match and has uh, has had uh, surgery to repair a broken leg. He looks like he's going to make a full recovery, but seeing as they both share a love for Nickelodeon crossovers, Occupy Pro Wrestling is looking to help. 100% of all proceeds from their merch at What a Maneuver and shop.occupyprowrestling.com will go to their buddy Marco from now through the end of January. So go support them over there, shop.occupyprowrestling.com and What a Maneuver. Some good merchandise, some that may have been featured on season three of Lucha Underground. This is true. This is a true, th- true fact. Uh, I was there. Um, and Alex was there with his t-shirt. Uh, so go check it out and support some indie wrestling in that fashion. So, Mike, um, so like I said, I, I had an opportunity this weekend um, to do something interesting. Uh, we, we ventured to Rocks with our pro wrestling. And as you know, uh, Impact Wrestling has been doing these interesting sort of joint promoted shows for Twitch mm-hmm. live. I mean, we, we, we still, we, you've seen on Impact like how they use some of these and put them on. Like they'll record some stuff at like a well, house. I was at one. You were at one. Wait, which one were you at? Impact versus Lucha. Oh, the Impact vs. Lucia thing, for instance, right? Um, yeah. So this is something I've been doing for a little bit. And, of course, they, they've been putting a lot into their, their Twitch feed. I mean, they are the thing that brought wrestling to Twitch, right? Um, and, of course, we're, you know, full disclaimer, we're trying to do some stuff with Indie Wrestling.us as well that, you know, it's not related to them. But we're, our, we're doing our own channel where you guys can see a lot of stuff for free from the promotions that we work with. You know, just a little sampler platter of, of what's going on there and the Indie Mayhem show and things like that. Um, and thank you, Dave Ponder. The term casualty includes injury that prevents action. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> so I just, it felt a little too serious for what I was saying. I was just, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm watching too many um, um, uh, apocalyptic movies, apparently. Uh, anyways, we need to watch more Spider-Man movies. Sorg. Yes, that is a good idea. That is a good idea, uh, Mike. Spider-Man was apocalyptic. It was a little bit. It, it was, was very little, apocalyptic. Like colorfully, they were destroying apocalyptic. dimensions, not they just were. the world. They were. Sorg, um, there's a there's a talking pig in it. There is a talking. Pig. Spoiler alert, dude. Well. Wow. Anyways, uh, but no, it, but it's part of this. It was a Rockstar Pro. I've heard a lot of great things about Rockstar Pro. They're right there in Dayton. They have their own venue, um, and they do shows like every Wednesday. I learned several things about um, Ohio people in general. Um, for instance, um, John Murray, who apparently John uh, um, uh, Jim Cornette does not like. He is a god. He is a god. Now, when you did you know did you know of Murray before this? Like, no. No? no, no, I don't follow Ohio wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so this is around. I can barely keep track of the stuff on my television. So, work. so a uh, friend of the show, formerly known as Abyss, now known as Stone Rockwell, adventurer, which I think we saw first in his like promo tape for the per- the the performance center a little bit ago. But he's been doing this in Impact Wrestling. He's basically doing an Indiana Jones character, right? John Murray. Apparently, the entire thing with John Murray is he likes to stick his thumb up people's butts. And that was wow the match. Um, it was fantastic. There was a tr- wow. There was a no match of the night. The the crowd reaction. Wow. Go back. It's it's free to watch. It's um it's uh, Ohio versus everyone is the name of the show. Uh, hence LVE being part of it in their promotion and everything. Right. Um, the Chris brothers were in a promotion. Um, it was really cr- cool to work with those guys. Uh, put doing set up and everything. But uh, sword. Sorg, Sorg, hold hold on. Did you say he stuck his thumb up someone's butt? Yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, his, um, his gimmick's, gimmick is prostate check. And he's not an Impact Wrestling guy. He, this is a guy that, that's local with the promotion. Question. Yes, yes. I have all is, the answers for you. Is he billed from Hershey, Pennsylvania? <laughs> oh, man, he should be. I did not notice, but he should be. He absolutely should be. Like, from the Hershey Highway. (laughs) No, no. And and he should come out to music selected from Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish, and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. John Murray, these are all free for you to use in your endeavors 
to as piss, well to piss George, uh, I, basically Cornette i'm off. trying to think of things that'll piss off jim Cornette even more because <laughs> fuck that guy <laughs> and i and i usually try yeah. not to comment on jim Cornette's um thoughts as well by the way vince russo is live on twitch that's good to know stay away from that part that's um, only because vince russo does nothing but twitch mm, yeah but uh, they say the entire show is up. It's a, it's a, well, a two and a half hours, but it's really just kind of a chat for the first half. So it's interesting because it was, it was very weird because we did some Twitch stuff here and it was interesting to hear like wrestling commentary. And then they'll, as you do when you're watching a video game Twitch, they'll shout out, hey, thanks to so-and-so who prime subscribed to the channel. Because that's how you get paid is people subscribing to the channel and or the ads on there by doing mass numbers and everything like that, right? Um, but it was, I say it was really, it was a really interesting experience for that. Um, again, I was on, or the, the, I say I was working with them. I was on the uh, video production side of things doing, do, basically doing the switching and, and, uh, shot calling, uh, uh, during the broadcast. Uh, what, what's wrong, Larry? Sorry. I was reading the check. Oh, well, there's still, you need to take tunnels to get from Hershey to Ohio. Hmm. <laughs> the besties were on the show. Another fantastic chat room. Davey Vega was on the show, a uh, friend of the show as well. And I don't know why my Twitch is not playing video appropriately. Sorg, it's because your internet still isn't good. I it's dropped probably not. Like the best two minutes. That's probably not. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop trying to. Yeah, stop trying to do up. that. Okay, we're going to stop doing that. Uh, but Thank no, you. it's up there on the Impact Wrestling. Um, um, <laughs> Mike, I, I at least check this show out. I, I encourage you. It's very unimpact, first it's, of all. I'm going to try, but you know how I feel about watching more wrestling than I have to on a computer screen. <laughs> this is this is so weird. This is like Chilla not wanting to pay 20 bucks a year for the Nintendo thing. Like, this is the thing. This perplexes me. The, the I don't want to see wrestling on a computer screen idea. Well, it's... Sorg, it's because of my unique position. I know it reminds you that, that you're at work or something, right? It was like, man, I, I watch so much wrestling just on a tablet or a phone at this point. Yeah, but I I don't like when I watch wrestling for fun. Mm -hmm. I watch it on a TV, mm -hmm. like even NXT and stuff. I load that shit through my Xbox. You could stream it through a TV. Fire Stick or something like that. There you go. There's a Twitch app on your Xbox. Watch it on your TV. Uh, I'll give it a shot. There you go. I'll see. But I need to be unblocked first. Wait, not from Twitch. <laughs> not from Twitch, man. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm blocked by Twitch. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you be blocked from Twitch? So For showing reasons. my boobs during a Twitch feed. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I have no idea what goes on with Twitch, Sorg. <laughs> um anyways but no it was a good show it was it was uh uh, uh crazy to see uh ove in a six-man tag um they went everywhere uh it, it amazingly we caught it all without much issue um and and they really put over the uh the kind of cult like just the fans were like completely into this thing it was a very ecw kind of vibe at this thing is it, is it just because i've never been to ohio that i don't get them yes Okay, see that doesn't tra like, like when I did watch that one episode of Impact, mm -hmm. I completely zoned out during their entire shtick because I don't get it. So wait, so what were they do on Impact with OVE? Because I've 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 seen bits and pieces of on Impact with them, plus this this weekend, plus like them in Blackcraft Wrestling. Yeah, it's just like them talking like. Nothing seems special about Ohio to me. <laughs> okay, he's not wrong. And no, I mean, th like that's that's my impression. Like they make Ohio seem like it's the greatest thing ever. And I'm like, no. Are they being ironic? Like, you just need to get out more. Are they being ironic? Like no, 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 no they weren't. They're being very realistic. It, it really comes off to me as kind of like a scrubby attitude, right? Like, we're, it's Ohio. We have, like, some of the most depressed towns in the country. Yeah, and I don't even think that's true. Cleveland was just an NBA champion last year. Oh, well, okay, yeah, okay, as far as the sports teams. 
Is it, wait, I'm not talking. Isn't that all now. Ohio is? Is sports scene? No, there's old rundown steel mills, and there's uh, yeah, farm. There's, run, there's, there's farm. And and it's a lot too. of industry. It's the Rust Belt. It's like you, you know how like Pittsburgh like was steel mills and really depressed, but then we came back. Like yeah. most of Ohio is still not on the comeback. Like there's some of that happening. So it, this is suck. What's that? That's because they suck. <laughs> But there's a different persona there. But like, like, I grew up in a neighborhood that's depressed and has all these problems. Like Columbus was not nice until several years ago, and still probably questionable in a lot of it. Like, dude, my news was like, like Youngstown was like murder, murder capital of Ohio. Like it yeah, was but, scary, man. But that, but that doesn't translate to a nationwide audience. Mm-hmm. But well, there's another thing. It, it doesn't. Uh, like, like ju- it's not. Well, okay, no, Justin's, Justin's talking about, like, also Ohio has a huge punk culture, which I think they're riding on as well. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, it, it just seems way too regional to me. Like, that's what that's what WCW's problem yeah. was all of the time. Mm-hmm. And that's what Impact's problem was when they were based out of Nashville. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to stop thinking regionally. Mm-hmm. Like there's a reason one of the biggest characters on raw used to be called the drifter because he didn't identify with a specific place. Like, because I, I'm on, I've lived on the East coast my entire life. I have no idea what Ohio culture is like. Okay. If you told, if you told me like Californian culture, sure. I know that because that's a little bit more, in the mainstream you don't see like frank sinatra singing a song called columbus columbus mm-hmm. you know what i mean like <laughs> you're a killer yeah i just love that we're spending a segment just trashing ohio <laughs> being from michigan <laughs> <laughs> fuck ohio see, and even if even if they're like detroit like detroit yes there have been many pop cultural touchstones that Detroit is a depressing ass fucking place. There are no pop culture touchstones that Cleveland or anywhere in Ohio is shitty except for the movie Major League and even then, those teams won. (laughs) Oh man, I think we've had enough trash in Ohio. Anyways, had a lot of fun. I I think we can get a few more minutes in. No, 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 that's okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Well, all right, hold on. I, I have, I have, oh, okay. What? what was it you, you got something else? Nope. Go ahead. <laughs> In other indie news, this is. Uh, oh, no, some... no. Before, before we jump to indie. Um, okay. This was something I. We've kind of been there, but. I had, I had conversations at, at work. Okay. Um, so for the Royal Rumble this year. Yeah. For 2019. Do you guys think it's likely that maybe Charlotte and Becky go over and hit the, hit the floor at the same time as the last two people in the Rumble? Really? Probably. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm asking a question. Do you think that's likely? Uh, likely? No. No, I don't see them doing that. Because I've heard rumors of a triple threat. Oh, yeah. That, I think that's pretty I think you get there another clear. way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's say that happens. Okay? For argument's sake, let's just say it happens. Yeah. Okay? Now we're going to jump in here. Hold on. I'll get... We're going we're gonna to use the TARDIS. <laughs> okay. Because it's, it, it's the Christmas special. We're going to okay. use the TARDIS. Wait. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All we're right. going to jump back. We're going to jump back to 1993, boys and girls. The first year that the Royal Rumble winner got a title shot at WrestleMania. Okay? That first winner who got a title shot was a young, upcoming Japanese superstar by the name of Yokozuna. Okay? Now, we hop in our TARDIS and we go back to last year. Uh Uh-huh. The first women's Royal Rumble. The winner was a young, Asuka. upcoming Japanese superstar named Asuka. 
Now we jump back in our TARDIS and we go to 1994. Mm-hmm. So do you remember who won the Rumble in 1994? That would have been Bret Hart and Lex Luger. Correct, Amundo. Imagine if they're just repeating the cycle of booking from every Royal Rumble from the start with the women. By the way, Chris LaRusso is in the chat room to point out he was Samoan and not Japanese. I'm aware of that, but he was billed as Japanese. I'm aware of that. Yes. Okay. So I but, mean, in context, in context, we're just, yes, we're saying, we're, context, we're stating. Yes. In context, if Becky and Charlotte. We're, we're going to use quote, not, quotes. We're going to use quotes. Hot Japanese prospect. Yeah, sure. Fine. Yes. Still, if Becky and Charlotte were to somehow land at the same time and both win the Royal Rumble. I have a problem with this. I have a problem oh, with this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Finish your thought. And I'm going to tell you my problem. What if they both say they want Rhonda? Mm-hmm. And Rhonda says, fine, I will take on both of you in separate matches at WrestleMania. Ooh. So you have Charlotte versus Rhonda at the top of hour two. And the winner of that fights the man in the main event. No, you need a second match. So what you first of all, first of all, you split it around. Okay. No, 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 no. Becky versus Naya is your opener. Becky versus Naya? Yep. The man versus the facebreaker. Uh, I was going to go all the way and say Charlotte versus David Flair. Oh, Sorg, that's in poor taste. <laughs> what? That's in poor taste. Why? Oh, no, that's rude. That's not, Never yeah, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I, do- I double checked in my head on that one. <laughs> okay, yes. all right. It's still in poor taste, technically, but it's still in poor taste. Yes, it's just but no, generally. But you, but you can have Becky versus Nia as the opener for the card. Here's my problem. What that makes Becky Lex Luger. I also have a problem. No, it makes Becky Bret Hart. No, because Bret Hart is no. the, Bret Hart is the like multi generational star. So Charlotte it, has to be Bret Hart. Yep. No, 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 no. That's why you're flipping it. That's why you flip it on its head. Mm. Becky has to go on last because Becky's the hotter okay. commodity right now. Okay, okay. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. What yeah, and again, none of this is going to happen. <laughs> none of it. Because yeah. I'm doing that little thing called writing. Larry, what's your um, prediction of what's going to happen with yes. that? Um, I think Becky's going to win the Rumble. Charlotte's going to jump over to Raw somehow. Beat Ronda. And then they're going to have a triple threat that night. Because she's going to invoke the rematch clause at WrestleMania. Hmm. Well, there is still an elimination chamber pay-per-view between Rumble and Mania. Oh, so. yeah. that, that, that's when she'll beat Ronda. Oof. Oh, and, and Alex has an excellent point. Becky is the non-American, therefore she's Bret Hart. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess so. I guess so. At least Ronda Yokozuna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at, um, okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Natty's her Mr. Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Samoan, and it brings it back around to Yokozuna. Got it. Okay. Exactly. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. There Not different at all. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, Tina. I forgot. Tina's right. You also have Fastlane in March. Oh fuck! Wait, we have fast lane and elimination chamber. Fast lane and elimination chamber. No, yeah. really? Yeah. Ah, Alex is right. Rhonda is Yokozuna because she's a two sport athlete. <laughs> oh, sick. Alex, bravo! All bravo. right, all right. Hey guys, if you want to check out wrestling that is not as I don't anything like that. Uh, check out IndieWrestling.us. New releases uh, just going up this week. The latest Fight Society, including our friends. Uh, we've interviewed Choi Lorge way back in the day, right? Ball oh, hot. hot. Thank you. <laughs> well, he just uh, had a pretty knockdown, drag out, last man standing match at Fight Society. Episode 20 actually is rendering right now on that computer and going going to go up this evening uh, for a morning release. But you can check out that. 
as far as well as our friends Beastman. Beastman takes on like uh, three, four, like five, six guys. I think it was. That was the Beastman gauntlet. Uh, it was that was his birthday present. Um, also, clips of Shirley Doe Paul Atlas of Beastman. Um, if you're a fan and you call out uh, wrestlers in the ring, man, you want to back it up. Uh, so a fun fun moment there from that. Plus all the other stuff going on, including the newest releases from the uh, International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, as well as Premier Championship Wrestling, something that is good in Ohio, you guys. Uh, <laughs> our friends at Premier Championship Wrestling doing a lot of great stuff up there, um, including some guys that are getting some looks, like have been featured pretty prominently on Impact Wrestling uh, television lately as well. So go to check it out. See the newest releases on video on demand over at IndieWrestling.us. And also check out our uh, friend Lala Bradbury just um, had her first episode of the Rise Strong Pod interviewing Super Hentai uh, for Rise Wrestling. Go check that out as well. As well. Also linked in her. Uh, if you're on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed or the Sorgatron Media Master Feed, we did uh, drop that in there as well. So uh, check that out. More wrestling um, chat for you there. IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the newsletter so you can get updates as well. Uh, yes, Troy Lords was a part of sexual harassment back in the day in IWC. Before I even went to IWC. Wait, what? Yeah. What? You have to elaborate that sexual harassment isn't what everybody else thinks it is. Sexual harassment is a tag team, and they're actually okay. the first people that we interviewed on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Okay. That yeah. would be... Uh, True fans of the show would know, Larry. That would be Justin Idol, who is now the RWA Cruiserweight Champion. Yeah, he's probably like four years old when that happened. This was, I no mean, excuse. So was Eamon. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got a few years on Eamon. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you were older than Eamon. Yeah. No excuse. Anyways, um, <laughs> and uh, the other the other tag team partner was Eric Ecstasy. Yes, Ecstasy. Yep, yeah. XTC. <laughs> no, I think it's spelled close. Anyways, um, guys, what did you learn from this year in pro wrestling? Oh, for, just from the year. From the year, it was a big broad. What you learned this year in wrestling? Oh boy. I learned that I can't keep up with it. <laughs> I right. learned that it might be a little too much. I learned that uh, WWE is much more tolerable when you're just watching the show through uh, Instagram videos as it's happening. <laughs> that is it. That was completely what sold you yep. on TLC. Yep. I just saw the. I just That's saw the. You can do saw it. The so basically, they're already doing the red zone thing for us. Yep. Okay. Yep, it weeds out the garbage. It does. It definitely does. Uh, by the way, Chris LaRusso is reminding us, this is for you, Larry, uh, as more background on sexual harassment. They were semi-serious and bi-curious was their tagline. Mm -hmm. This is in 2005-ish? Yep. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see a sexual harassment reunion teaming with Effie. I'm going to put that out I in the world. I would see... I would love to see a sexual harassment reunion against the STDs. Yeah, they were pre-STDs, I think, for the most well, part. Well, sexual harassment usually does come before the STDs. Yep. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Uh, Remind me, somebody bring right. somebody bring up sexual harassment on the STD Christmas special tomorrow night. Okay. I'm sure you um, won't have The tag team. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if they're drinking, that'll probably come up by itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And be aired. What? They were streaming it last we year. We are streaming it. Yes, we were streaming yeah. it. Yes, it was aired. Um, This year, I learned, uh, Alex says, uh, this year I learned my limits for how much wrestling I can attend in one weekend. Yeah, he had a pretty, some good marathon well, weekends as well. I still haven't learned mine yet. What is your limit? I don't, I have no limit. I don't think I have. I don't if, think I've reached that either. If DJ Z can wrestle four shows in a row, I can attend more wrestling shows in WrestleMania weekend. And you, sir, are no DJ Z. We did have that. Bah, 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 bah. We, we did um, have that week uh, last year hmm. that uh, we watched like six or seven different wrestling shows in the one week. Why were we that? doing that? 
I don't remember when it was. It was like during the UK tournament. Okay. Had NXT, Raw, SmackDown. I think we slipped some New Japan in there. Okay. Impact, Lucha, ROH. We're doing it like daily? We watch we watched like all of it throughout the week, the one week, and just trying to like absorb all that. We were losing track of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's too much. It is too much. There's too much. It is too much. Okay. I, I got what I learned this year in wrestling sword. Okay. I learned that because of the glut of superior talent that the entire world of professional wrestling has. The glut? The glut. Like as an influx, like a surge yes. of talent. Yes. Um, because there is talent everywhere. If you want to distinguish yourself, you need to have good writing. This boils down to Lucha, all in with being the elite, NXT with the Gargano and Ciampa stuff, probably the best feud of the year. Um, the Mae Young Classic, which had a lot of really good storylines going into it. Like if you watch the, um, the Bracketology and stuff like that. And um, SmackDown with the Daniel Bryan feud and the stuff that The Miz has been doing. Hmm. You know, it's so uh, uh, kind of. I want to roll off of that on the hot on the the, the hotness of wrestling right now. Um, also, Justin Justin in the chat learned that uh, his his drive for learning and training for wrestling is stronger than the body. Sometimes uh, that's a few of us here. Um, Brandon also learned, our friend out in the Kansas City, uh, learned that the McMahons are freaking out and will most likely be on TV for the next few weeks, well, maybe the next year. Um, <laughs> um, I, I'm still really kind of amazed that um, we just had another promotion debut this week in the Pittsburgh area, Greater Pittsburgh area. And still... I think, uh, and and up against another promotion, and again, not in the same area, like they're on different sides of Pittsburgh, about an hour or 30 minutes each way from the center of Pittsburgh, and both did very well. And we're seeing this, like shows 10 minutes down the road are still drawing record crowds, respectively. It's different flavors. It's their own audiences. Like, as much as a pain in the ass for me, it's still amazing to see there's no, like, I want to say there's no competition, but there's just growth everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, there's enough for everybody. Like, how we talk about, hey, if you don't like WWE, go watch New Japan. Yeah. Or go watch Ring of Honor, or go watch this, or see All In, or see the Indies, or something, right? Like, that is happening in a microcosm here in the in the area. And it's really cool to see. So, and that's not even looking at Cleveland or something else. Like, it's insane how much we have here in Pittsburgh. But, and I don't think that's going to be slowing down anytime soon uh, for, for any of these. Nobody's, th nobody's getting tired of it because they're just finding more of what they like mm -hmm. and gravitating towards those. Whether they be the John Murrays, as you have discovered this week, as have I, or the Kenny Omegas, or the, you know, Will Ospreay just looking like a supervillain in New Japan gifts that have been going around it just there's just a lot of good going and a lot of people are learning and it's a cool to see the people in our circles too learning how to take advantage of those platforms too yeah. i think beast man is a perfect example right mm -hmm. so a lot going on huh uh so with that i think that's everything i think we got everybody from the chat room and what you learned guys it's been a great 20 19 or 2018 going into 2019 of course here um we're hoping to do more in the studio we've been experimenting here and there with everything going on of course um and hopefully a little bit more invite you guys in a bit more for things here in the sort of Charm media studio in pittsburgh for anybody and 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 i'm gonna be out there man um i think at some point i'll put my schedule my travel schedule up a little bit and i'm hoping if i'm coming to your town i know alex's will be uh i'll be in la at least twice this year uh, maybe I'll go to Nashville and visit uh, TNA's home homecoming as well. <laughs> so hey, maybe we get lucky and they're doing a show down there at the time, right? Um, then all over the make place. Sure you don't get shot. Get shot? 
Yeah, there's that clip of the puppet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. Why would they show that again? I don't know. It's, it's, it's. I don't know why they, why they would want to remind anyone of that first show. Hey, remember when we were batshit crazy um, during the early days of Impact Wrestling? We're going to do a pay per view and we're not inviting this guy. Uh, <laughs> also, if you do see Sorg out and about, feel free to chop him. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got to mention, no, 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 no. There was a moment, and this is thanks to Wheels, and you will appreciate this, Mad Mike. Oh, yay, yay. All right, so we're doing a pre-show, um, which is basically just Josh Matthews sitting there vamping for the show, pulling up people to interview and stuff, right? Um, yeah, he interviewed, like, Moose and Sam and Callahan during this. So at one point, Wheels is in the chat room live on Twitch and <laughs> asked Josh Matthews to chop Sorg. <laughs> which josh which josh says why why does he want me to chop sorg i'm not gonna chop sorg he's a, he's he's behind the scenes here in production so on an official impact wrestling broadcast the mayhem show chops was called out by josh matthews did you explain to josh hey. matthews why you're being no, because there was no downtime for the next three hours of the production to explain it to him. Fair enough. I'll just have to... I DM him. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, man. <laughs> just so you know. This is the deal. Just so you know, if anybody else has to chop me during a Twitch stream again. Just make sure Moose isn't at the table when he does <laughs> it. <laughs> if Moose is old enough to chop me, I'm fucking running. Make sure... Make sure Brian Cage is not at the table. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, boy. I saw fake Brian Cage, though. He was on the show. Because apparently, um, uh, who was feuding with Brian Cage? Was it Eddie Edwards? No, it was Sammy Callahan, probably. They came to Ohio and found a fake Brian Cage to beat up. Right? Huh. And he was on the show. Oh, okay. I can't okay, remember his yeah, name. I, I, I saw a clip of that. Okay. So I did see fake Brian Cage. He was, it was, it was okay. actually mentioned as but, the fake Brian but Cage. But Sorg, so why did you think I would be happy that Josh Matthews didn't chop you? No, I'm just saying it got called out on a impact. It's it's oh so so Sorg, all of us got mentioned on shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. The entire midweek war was represented. Yes. We did it. We did, everyone. We did it. Good job, guys. God bless us, everyone. Yes. Now, Larry. Yep. It's been all year. We've been trying. Where can people find you and the things that you do? Oh, you can go to darkforgestudios.co for any of your uh, set design, prop fabrication, or display needs. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. Mad Mike, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at MadMike4883, where I am three tweets away from 100,000. Wow. And, and I, don't know, I don't know what my 100,000 tweet is going to be. And blocked by the most of at least one wrestling company. Sa save, save it for when you're unblocked by uh, Impact. Hey. No, <laughs> I'm not waiting that long to tweet three things. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out there. You know what? Let's help Mike out. I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I can here. But in the meantime, I want everybody out there to please uh, at Impact Wrestling and say, hey, guys, please unblock Mad Mike 4883. He's sorry. He's your biggest fan. Uh, hey, hey, don't tell them I'm sorry. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, if you tell them I'm sorry, wait, I will block no, no, no. You. So t just tell them that Mad Mike's really sorry, but Impact nope. needs to apologize. I, I <laughs> for the content they put up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, if, at Impact if Wrestling, need to apologize to me. At Impact Wrestling, <laughs> please hire John Murray. <laughs> just to piss off Jim yep, Cornette. Just to piss off. Cornette. I mean, before, just, just on, on, just on. Make sure, make sure he signs his contract. With a number two pencil. Yes, <laughs> and with the other hand. So number two is a poop joke. Oh. There oh it I'm is. sorry, I added one Larry, on top of it. Larry got it. At Sorgatron on the Twitter, thank you to the chat room. You guys really do uh, bring this, especially when I kind of have off nights and the internet goes out and things are just, I don't even know what's going on. 
uh really appreciate it you, like you guys are the lifeblood of of the show and the and the tuesday nights here guys guys when you are oh sorry miss no, no, wait, she's not on the mic. Finish your thought, Mad Mike. No, no, I will let Missy speak. <laughs> Missy, Mi- what are you saying? I thought I was the lifeblood. Well, that's, yeah. no, I mean, like, the karmic lifeblood was, of the show, the energy, the, the, the energy they put out is what brings the show on. You are, you are the, the grease Sword, call, that makes the her, machine call work. Call her your lightning rod. It the lightning works. rod. You're the lightning rod. Why is she the lightning rod? Because she's going to strike you. (laughs) (laughs) Get out of here. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you guys next year. Call us when you're drunk over the holidays. (laughs) Yes, at 412-206-WMS0. Be drunk. Put that in your phone. Let us know how happy of a holiday you're having. We'll see you guys next time. Merry mayhem to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.